what's up you guys welcome back to my channel as you can do what? as you can see I'm doing another sit down video which okay we'll see how this goes yeah so let's get into it ka -chow. <laughs> Today's video is a list of albums that are either coming out very soon or have just been recently released that I'm like pumped for slash I think are good. So we're just going to talk about all of them. Not going to lie, it's kind of biased. Not biased, but af after watching this video it'll be pretty apparent like what my music taste is and what it isn't. And there's tons of other great albums coming out. These are just ones that I'm personally really excited for. Okay, I'm going to start now. First one is the new album that I'm personally the most excited for. And it's probably one of the most anticipated albums ever for me. And that is Vampire Weekend's new album. The name right now is Mitsubishi Macchiato. Um, I don't know if that's going to be officially the title. Ezra Koenig is the lead singer. And he's sort of like, I think... November was the last time he officially said, like, he talked about the new album. That he said it was 80% done. So. And he said it was going to be released sometime in 2018. My guess is February. I don't know why. It just seems. Seems like February is the month. But. We'll see. It could be December, too. Who knows? They haven't released a new album since 2013. My mom and I have been just waiting so patiently for them to release a new album and finally there's speculation it's supposed to be this year so yeah um at Ezra Koenig that'd be great if you could just go ahead and get that done next the and this is an album that has already been released a couple months ago it's Walk the Moon's new album called What If Nothing you've probably heard the song One Foot from this album <laughs> Next one is a highly anticipated album by, I think, lots of people in our age group, or my age group, um, Arctic Monkeys, alleged new album. So this is like very much speculation because Arctic Monkeys has kind of been like a little bit non-existent for the past five-ish years. Um, they released their last album, did well, I loved it, so yeah, that's all that really matters. They, t they interviewed the lead singer. I'm not sure of his name. He said something like, yeah, if our new album, if we don't have a new album released this year, there's a problem or something. So I think they're just really hoping to get a new album cranked out and there's been a lot of hype about it. So I think that's probably going to happen this year, which I'm super pumped for. Um, they're just like a good old fashioned, like alternative band, I think next album is also one that has already been released it's by the band called sure sure like s-u-r-e and it's self-titled so the album is called sure sure as well so this is actually um a band that i kind of just discovered like at the end of last year because hippocampus the band hippocampus not the part of the brain <laughs> The band Hippocampus tweeted about their new album or something, and I was like, oh my gosh, if Hippocampus likes them, they must be good. So I looked him up, and sure enough, they released a new album, um, says January 12th of this year. This is my favorite song off their album. It's called This Must Be The Place. The 1975. So this is kind of a confusing-ish situation. The new album is called Music for Cars, I think, which is the name of a previous one of their albums. I'm not going to explain this perfectly, but what the 1975, I believe, does is they kind of like recreate their band like every time they release a new album. Because I remember like when I were 
five, six, or four years ago maybe, they kind of like died and came back as a new sort of more pop genre when they released um, I Love It When You Sleep because you're so beautiful yet I'm so unaware of it. This new album, the lead singer Maddie. Maddie also is the most beautiful man in human existence. Truman Black, if you will. There was an interview with him, I think I saw. He just said like it's gonna be a new sound. And they released one song from it. I think it's called Milk. Uh, yeah, they did. I don't know. I'm really into that song. So if there are no albums like that, I'm probably gonna love it. Next, we have Borns. This is an album that has already been released recently so I'll play a quick track from that it's called Blue Madonna this the first song on this album is God Save Our Young Blood and it has Lana Del Rey on it so that's big that's big fun for indie indie kids it's called Faded Heart so here's a little snippet of that Okay, next album is a Christian band, and I listen to Christmas. <laughs> I listen to Christian music quite a bit. I'm a Christian, so um, I love it. And I think that you can not be a Christian and listen to Christian music, but it's just my opinion. It's it's just good music and um, it's uplifting. So um, this group is called Rend Collective. They're kind of folksy, I think. Um, oh man, I love this. this new album just released three days ago or something. Yeah, so I'll just play my f a little snippet of my favorite song again. This song's so good. It's called I Will, I Will Be Undignified. So here we go. I could bump to that song. Like, I love, I love a good fiddle. Um, next is, okay, The Wombats. This, they just released a single, I don't know when, and I'll play that in a second, but their new album, I believe, is called, oh, Beautiful People Will, Will Ruin Your Life. So, sorry. This album, I don't know, I think it's supposed to come out 2018, because they just released a single a few days ago, which... I will play. It's called Cheetah Tongue. Haven't really listened to it much, but I really like it. The Wombats are kind of like a rockish, more alternative rock band from, I believe, Australia. So that's the Wombats. I really like the Wombats. They're kind of like dancey rock. I don't. I really like them. I'm so bad at explaining like genres, but I love them. <laughs> Very random, Drake. The, the reason I put this in here is because like, I gotta hand it to this guy. He he just like shoots out albums like it's his job. Well, it is his job, I guess. I just feel like a Drake album is coming out every 10 minutes. So, and, and there's always like, they're always like quality, I think. Um, so... Yeah, and also, another interesting thing about this album is I heard possibly it's going to be his last album, which I think is sad. I th I like Drake, and I think it'd be sad if this is his last album, but also he's released enough to um, last us enough time to last... Huh. He's released enough to, like, <laughs> last a lifetime, so... That's just speculation, I guess, but... I could be so wrong. I don't even know. But yeah, that's it, yo. That's it for me. Um, Like I said, there's probably a bajillion more great albums coming out this year. <laughs> Comment them down below. Comment the albums that you're excited for this year, if any. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, I think. Well, for sure subscribe. Like I said, I really, I don't know what the likes do. So 
yeah, just um, see you later. Good ciao.